In this video, I'll just go through sending a simple program to the Spark core so that you can um, get going on building your Internet of Things. So you go to spark.io, hit up the build button here. You log in with the credentials that were the same as the ones that you have on your iPhone um, or Android device, basically whichever ones you've used to, um, to hook up the uh, Spark core to the Internet. Um, they it will be paired. So try to use the same ones there. So if we log on, let's have a look at one of their pre-prepared examples. So let's click uh, here, uh, blink on LED. Um, so if you're familiar with Arduino, pretty much um, it's all downhill from here. Um, if not, you can check out some of my Arduino tutorials. But basically, let's have a quick rundown of this program and then we'll see how this actually is different um, given that it's the Spark core. So we've got two variables here um, that are called LED and LED2 and they're connected to D0, D7. So D7 is a special one because it's already connected to a, a light on the board itself that we had a look at earlier. Then we do um, our setup. So we need to tell the board what are those pins going to do. So we're going to ask them to be outputs. So we run this command pin mode and then we are we pass it two parameters. We go pin mode, can you please make uh, D0 and D7 outputs? So you can see that there. Then after the setup is complete, we uh, do our main program. So you can see that between here and here, it is looping. It will do this forever um, because there's no conditional statements in here. Um, so what are we asking it to do? We're asking it to do a write to the LED to make it high and we do that to both. So we turn both lights on and then we do a delay and we wait 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. So turn it on wait a second, turn it low, turn them off, then wait a second. And then we get to the end and we drop out of there and we come back here and then we do it again. So effectively what you'll see is the light will turn on, it will wait a second, it will turn off, it will wait a second, it will do it again. So because we're still looking at their example, we need to create our own um, from this. So we go fork this example And so now that we have a copy, um, there are two uh, parts here. So verify. So it just checks that the code syntax is correct. And we can see down the bottom, verified successful. We need to push it to the device. And so here we see um, two devices that I've already got. Um, and we can see we need to select one. So I've starred, starred awesome from the previous video. And you can see that there, there was a dot just before um, indicating that it's online. So now that we've selected it, we can flash it. There, and it's done. When I look across over at the device, I can see it flashing blue. So let's have a look now. So looking at the Spark Core, we can see on the top right, it's got that blue LED that's flashing. So we'll notice that that's one second on and one second off, just as we've written in the program. So that's pretty cool. That's all over the air, over the internet, and you can use the Spark Core to do any um, data communication without hassle and without too many problems. So I look forward to seeing what you create and um, hope to uh, talk to you soon.